Welcome back to Auction Online Classes, NEET and IIT Foundation. So, myself, John sir, biology teacher, today we will discuss about that uh, plant tissues. Especially two types of the tissues are present. One is the meristematic tissues. Okay. Second one is the second one is the meristematic tissues. Simple tissue, sorry. tissues for according to that uh, state book oh, in that plant uh, four types of the tissues are present how many types of the tissues are present so in the plant tissues in the plant tissue okay four tissues are present one is the meristematic tissue one is the meristematic tissue merista matic tissue second one is the second one is the ground tissue ground tissue third one is the third one is the dermal tissue dermal tissue and fourth one is the actually vesicular tissue fourth one is the vesicular tissue yes or no huh? so according to in our state book they are given to that uh, so plant tissues are the four types of that uh, so there are the four basic types of the tissues are present in that plant they are first one is the meristematic tissue second one is the okay so dermal tissue third one is the ground tissue fourth one is the vascular tissue so meristematic tissues already we have discussed in that meristematic tissues three types of the tissues are present so one is the apical meristematic tissue one is the apical meristematic tissue second one is the lateral meristematic tissue third one is the 
enter calorie, enter calorie meristematic tissue. So apical meristematic tissues are present in the tip of the root, tip of the shoot. Lateral meristematic tissue where the branches is arises in that uh, the girth of the stem, girth of that uh, our roots generally increase their size that is the lateral meristematic tissue. And intercalary meristematic uh, tissues are present where the nodes are arises on that particular region is present. So apical meristematic tissues is over, yes, last class, yes or no? Ah, now, so now second one is the, you can see that uh, actually dermal tissue, dermal tissue, in that uh, dermal tissue, dermal tissue usually consists of a single layer, cells having show the variation in the types, uh, actually these are that, uh, three types of the dermal tissue, second one is the, Dermal tissue. This dermal tissue where it is present? This dermal tissue is present in the leaves. These dermal tissues are present in the leaves. Actually these are the dermal tissue they are divided into three types. So what is the outermost? Outer outermost layer is called epidermis. epidermis middle layer is called mesodermis, mesodermis. inner layer is called ectodermis ectodermis no okay ectodermis huh? Epidermis is the outermost, mesodermis is the middle, endodermis, endodermis, okay, outermost layer is the epidermis, second one is the middle layer is the mesodermis, inner layer is called endodermis, endodermis, actually these are, you can see in this, especially in that, according to in our textbook they are given. So these are, where the stomatas are present now in the leaves. Generally if you see that, this is called what? Transfer section of the leaf. Transfer section of the leaf. Okay. This is the nucleus. This is the upper epidermis. This is called epidermis. So this epidermis, one layer is present, this layer is called cuticle. What it is called? So in, in that, one or two rows are present, one or two rows are present, these are called palisade parenchyma. What it is? Palisade parenchyma. Next, you can see that in this middle, who are present, okay, generally,
okay so this is called this is called xylem and this is called phloem in this uh, irregular sub present this is called palisade parenchyma what it is palisade parenchyma this is also present uh, in that one or two rows then this is called uh, lower epidermis in the lower epidermis you can see some of the gaps are present these are present in the stomata or present okay so actually plants are taking to that so in the photosynthesis 6 co2 plus 12 h2o okay gives rise sunlight sunlight and chlorophyll chlorophyll okay c6 h12o6 c6 h12o6 plus 6h2o plus 6o2 so in this equation so actually gas exchange takes place in that plant so this is called uh, stomatal pore what it is stomatal pore okay so this is called god cell this is cell god cell so they they are carbon dioxide is absorbed and oxygen gas is released so that gases exchanges are takes place in that especially for that stomata gases exchanges and gases exchanges and carbon dioxide is absorbed and oxygen is released through the stomata okay so this is about that uh, especially for that next uh, vascular tissues vascular tissues vascular tissues means what vascular tissues means vascular vascular tissues especially in that uh, two types of the tissues are present one is that xylem and phloem what is that xylem what is the xylem second one is the phloem so if these are two are called vascular tissues huh these are two are called vascular tissues xylem is the conduction of the water and water and minerals water and minerals so actually that plant is absorb absorbed to the water and minerals through the especially from the xylem that uh, uh, roots are absorbed to the water and distributed to the different parts of the plant body through that xylem as a no phloem actually in the plant food is food is prepared especially in the leaves especially in the leaves that food is distributed to the different parts of the plant body through the phloem through the phloem so that's why this is called huh hello sir ha ah. are you understanding yes sir so actually that food is distributed to the different parts of the plant body through the phloem both of them together is called uh, okay so phloem is called uh, especially food conduction of the already in that classification of the plant you are studied okay plants classification one is the okay cryptogams crypto cryptogams second one is the phenylogams 
ferro gams in that uh, in crypto gams and ferro gams uh, in the crypto gams again okay again three types are there one is the callophyta callophyta second one is the bryophyta bryophyta okay so third one is the pteridophyta pteridophyta so in the thallophyta again classified into two types one is the algae and second one is the fungi okay in this phenylogams again into the two types one is the gymnosperm gymnosperms gymnosperms second one is the angiosperms angiosperms so these angiosperms are being divided into two types one is the monocots and dicots dicots okay actually pteridophyta onwards pteridophyta onwards we can see that uh, vascular tissues vascular tissues are nothing but xylem and phloem xylem and phloem so these xylem and phloem are also called as the vascular tissues or complex tissues so these are the xylem and phloem we can see the pteridophyta onward so the xylem and phloem is present started in the pteridophyta and this is also present in that gymnosperm these are also present in that angiosperm so that's why so where it is present in that xylem and phloem that is called tracheophyta what we are called tracheophyta okay what are the examples of the tracheophyta pteridophyta gymnosperms angiosperms yes or no yes sir next tracheophyta means what which are the phylum there is no xylem and phloem that is called a tracheophyta a tracheophyta a tracheophyta a tracheophyta example what was first one is the thallophyta thallophyta second one what bryophyta bryophyta so these are the two phylums are belongs to the these are the two phylums are belongs to the a tracheophyta so vascular tissues we can see in the pteridophyta onward okay next in this uh, vascular tissues uh, xylem xylem what is the importance of the xylem xylem is a help with the conduction of the help with the conduction of conduction of the food material help with in the conduction of so in the xylem especially consist of xylem consist of first one is the trochids okay xylem xylem vessels okay xylem xylem fibers xylem fibers fourth one is the xylem xylem parenchyma parenchyma okay so these are the components are present in that xylem in this except the xylem parenchyma so trachytes is the dead cell xylem vessels are the dead cell xylem fibers are the dead cell only xylem parenchyma is the living cell only in that competitive examination what are that uh, uh, actually in that uh, xylem which is the living cell xylem parenchyma is the living cell are you got it yes next in the phloem in the phloem what is the function of the phloem phloem also known as the blast okay or leptom in that phloem especially contain sieve cells what it is sieve cells second one is the companion 
companion cells third one is the third one is the phloem phloem parenchyma phloem parenchyma and last one phloem fibers phloem fibers okay so in this except to the phloem fibers except to the phloem fibers okay except to the phloem fibers all of the living cell sieve cell companion cells phloem parenchyma and uh, these are all the living cell only phloem fibers is the dead cell okay in that plant tissues uh, how to identification of the age of the plant can you tell me for example you are uh, according to your date of birth you are uh, okay i am 9 years old i am 10 years old i am 12 years old you are saying how you can say that uh, okay identification of the age of the plants Yes, yes, that is called annual rings. Annual rings. Okay, according to the annual rings, we can identify to that. Okay, a plant age. So, plant tissues. You have the any doubt, Nana? Akash. Yes. Plant tissue. No, ni ke mana doubt to na ga inka. so if you have the any doubt plant tissues uh, actually simultaneously we will discuss about that uh, state syllabus and uh, cbse syllabus also any doubt you can ask me okay sir uh, shall we start that animal tissues uh. animal tissues animal tissues in that animal tissues you can see that actually animals also four types of the tissues are present one is the first one is the epithelial tissue Okay. Second one is the connective tissue. Third one is the muscle muscle tissue or muscular tissue. And fourth one is the. nervous tissue okay already you know very well all the living organisms are made up of cells all the living organisms are made up of cells all the cells are united to form a tissues all the tissues to united to form a organ all the organ to united to form a organ system Ar organ system all the organ system to united to form a organism all the organism to united to form a population population all the population to united to form a community community all the community to united to form a ecosystem ecosystem all the ecosystem to united to form a biosphere biosphere so the largest unit of that organism is the biosphere the smallest unit is known as the cell cell is the 
fundamental unit of the organism cell is the basic unit of the organism cell is the structural and functional unit of the organism cell is the okay building block of the organism so cell was discovered by the robert hook in 1665 1665 okay cell is the basic unit all the cells to unite to form a tissue all the tissues to unite to form a organ all the organ to unite to form a organ system all the organ system to unite to form a organism all the organism to unite to form a population all the population to unite to form a community all the community to unite to form a ecosystem all the ecosystem to unite to form a biosphere the smallest unit of the organism is the cell largest unit is the biosphere so according to that the animals huh? ah. yes, sir. according to that the animals okay so animals also four types of the tissues are present how many tissues are present four types of the tissues are present one is the epithelial tissue first one is the epithelial tissue second one is the connective tissue third one is the muscle tissue third one is the muscle tissue fourth one is the nervous tissue nervous tissue so in that epithelial tissue what is the meaning of the epithelial tissue so what is the outermost surface of the plant cell, animal cell what are the tissues are present that is made up of epithelial cells okay what is the outermost layer is made up of epithelial so for example this skin also made up of epithelial tissue only okay can you give the examples of the connective epithelial tissue that nails are made up of epithelial that skin is made up of epithelial that hairs are made up of epithelial so most of that in our body made up of epithelial tissue only so can you see the connective tissue what is the example of the connective tissue so connective tissue so many tissues are present in the connective tissue the major important blood is the connective tissue and lymph is the connective tissue bone is the connective tissue tendon is the connective tissue areola is also connective tissue okay uh, and uh, so these are uh, uh, fat also connective tissue so these are all the example ligament tendon cartilage so these are all the examples of the connective tissue all the examples of the connective tissue third one is the muscles so what is the use of muscles what is the use of muscles with the help of the muscles we can stretch it we can hold that item we can move that organism so muscles are very very important okay with the help of the muscles only we can see that uh, okay so organism they can move one place to the another place with the help of the muscles only in the muscles also three types of the muscles are present one is the okay what is the first type St uh, stratified muscle non stratified muscle and cardiac muscle so that is we can discuss it in the detail way in the muscles okay how many types of the muscles are present what is the functions of the muscles and uh, what is the difference between the stratified muscles and non stratified muscle and that is we can study and uh, last but not least nervous system okay nervous system here one point is very very important in our body that control and coordination control and coordination occurs in the uh, by actually uh, two ways what is that so control control and coordination control and coordination coordination occurs in the organism in the two ways one is the endocrine glands 
endocrine glands endocrine glands next second one is the nervous system second one is the nervous system okay endocrine glands what is the functions of the so actually in our body two types of the glands are present one is the exocrine gland second one is the endocrine gland exocrine glands are associated with the digestive system they can ducts are present they are religious to the digestive enzyme that complex molecule converted into the simple molecule Yes or no? So salivary gland secreted to the salivary amylase. Pancreas secreted to the pancreatic juices. Liver secreted to the uh, bile juices, but there is no digestive enzyme. Small intestine secreted to the uh, intestinal juices. These are all that uh, juice. Uh, these are all that uh, uh, associated with the digestive system. Exocrine glands are all associated with the digestive system. Endocrine glands, what they are religious to the chemicals, that chemicals are known as the hormones, what we are called hormones. These hormones, uh, if it is increased more, if it is decreased, that is affected of the organism. Growth and development, uh, we can see the affected to the organism. So, endocrine gland secreted by the organism, that endocrine gland within the inside of the body organism, control and coordination occur through the endocrine gland. And second one is the nervous system. Nervous system also control that control and coordination of the body of the organism. For example, outside of the body, outside of the body, generally we can see that okay so we can see that uh, control and coordination occur in that uh, for example if we, if it is it has a raining we can use it to the umbrella if it is a cold we can cover with the blanket or we can cover with the sweater okay so these are all control and coordination occur through the nervous system in that nervous system already you know very well in the nervous system in the nervous system nervous system okay again three types of the nervous systems are present one is the central nervous system central nervous central nervous system nervous system in the central nervous system the main important component is the brain and spinal cord brain and spinal cord okay next second one is the peripheral peripheral nervous system peripheral nervous system okay in this peripheral nervous system again what are the nerves are coming from the brain that are called cranial nerves cranial nerves so this is the dual pairs is present and what are the nerves are coming from spinal cord spinal nerves spinal nerves so this is the two type 31 pairs are present and the third one is the autonomous nervous system autonomous nervous system autonomous nervous system in this autonomous nervous system again classified into two types one is the sympathetic sympathetic nervous system sympathetic nervous system and second one is the para para sympathetic para sympathetic nervous system so this is we can discuss in that uh, detailed way in the nervous system okay so now started to the animal tissue we will discuss in the detail way actually tomorrow we have that uh, science exam for that uh, cbse actually now actually chemistry class instead of the chemistry class i am suddenly taking so that's why this is the giving to the introduction any doubt regarding akash no doubt sir 
no doubt. So next class, uh, as usual, running. Please uh, continue with the classes. At uh, 6:40, you have the class. Okay. So thank you. Have a nice day. Right. Bye. Saturday. Yeah, I will uh, uh, inform to you. Just, uh, uh, just uh, I will ask and inform to you next class. Okay. Next, which teacher will come? I will ask and inform to you. Okay. All right. Right.